this tutorial video, I will introduce QSAD, a computer software for quantification and processing of SAED patterns. You may download the software suite from the website on the screen. Here is the London launcher icon. Click this button to start the QSAD3. Let me introduce the functions on the menu bar file. Load electron diffraction pattern, save HKL date, save display as a JPEG, save display as TIFF, Exit. Process. Calibrate. Scaling factor, which is used to measure the basic vector or the length between the diffraction spots. Shift and center move the incident beam to the display center. Resize and rotate image for image processing. Invert image grayscale, turn black background to white background. This one adjust possible left over edge grayscale. The last one will erase the image. Quantify. First one is a digital viewer. If there are intensity here, this will show the actual density distribution. Beam stopper. If your diffraction pattern have a beam stopper, we'll use this one to simulate the situation. Two D pattern. This is main function for the QSAD to retrieve the intensity. One D profile. This is another function to retrieve the intensity, mainly get the length of between two diffraction spots. The last one so information of basic vector. Pattern. The color will show the pattern, the retrieved intensity. Adjustment for you to restore the true symmetry of the pattern. ROI and TIFF control the size and the resolution of the output. The font will control the size and also the color of indices and the style. There are three styles to choose. Help input current drive, serial number of your hard drive, and version. 
There are two ways to load image in QSAED. First, use standard window file system. The second way is find image and drag and drop to this drop box. Go to C folder, then the three experiment QSAED sample. This image, click your mouse left button and drag here and see the move. Release it. The first application is to process the experimental electron diffraction pattern. The experimental SAED pattern rarely used directly from experiment. Usually the pattern will cut to square with the incident beam in the center and also sometimes it need enlarger and rotate to make the pattern look nice. QSAED3 Simplify the process. First, click this button. Choose this point and hold mouse left button. Move mouse point here and release. The guideline can be changed to resize and rotate. Just drag this slide the bar, but you need to remove your pattern center back to here. To rotate, we want to make a guideline here, so we may choose 8. Either slide this. or use number here. And now see the vertical line is parallel to this vertical line. Readjust the beam center. The pattern is aligned and resized and rotate. So you have the pattern contrast inverted. If the original image are small, you may have a edge left over in other color. For example, like this size. So you can use the adjust the edge contrast in such a case. You slide this bar to so it make look like the same image here. Let's bring it back. Save the image. Click here. It shows this square inside this square will be saved. Let's change the size to 500. Immediately the size changes. Now go to File, Save, TIFF Image. You can change the name here and go to save. The saved image is in this file. Instead of adjust the brightness and contrast to enhance the patterns, we will remove the background of the pattern and retrieve the intensity of 
diffraction spots. The intensity of diffraction spots are expressed in the radius of circles. As an option, true symmetry can be restored in the processed electron diffraction pattern. The main application is to measure the intensity and basic diffraction vector. This is a magnifier. You move your mouse to anywhere, it shows the local, actually digital information. In this way, you can tell which diffraction spot is saturated or not. And also help you to find the true spot location. We need the calibrate the scaling factor for measure the reciprocal lattice. This can be done by shifting the scaling bar to the center. So when end is in the center, then we can show the matching circle. And get rid of the guide circles. Then we can adjust the other end to measure the radius. Then we just fill this number here is 5, 1 over nanometer. So like this to 1 over nanometer, put here to 5. After this, we can bring the diffraction pattern back. Now let's find out the two-dimensional basic diffraction vector. Go to 2D pattern. First, find three spots in two-dimensional give uh, any index. The default is 1, 0, 0, 1, and minus 1, 0. Check this one is, you can use the magnifier help you to find the most intensity spot. This will be the one and this will be the two and this will be minus one zero, the three one, third one. So you define the three refraction here, then you can go to search. Before you search, you can define how large area of the diffraction you want to search. So let's check. I show you a hint says adjust the range and the radius to refraction to create circles before making refinement. Okay. We make this too big. So we'll adjust this one and this this one. For refinement, we just use the 
in the first uh, ring and the second ring and see all the spots in the circle we can make the refinement you may try several times for the refinement until it's stable Click the refinement buttons a few times and result should be stable. Otherwise, search it again. This define the basic vectors. Smoothing, prepare the background. Calculate background date, it may take for a few minutes. This is the background, this is the peak. The red one is the background, so it's okay. Let me introduce the function in pattern. The first one, we can choose any color to represent it, uh, retrieve the intensity. Next one is for the adjustment. The first one adjustment is to adjust the overall scaling factor for the whole intensity. Some of the circle are overlapped, so let's reduce this one a little bit. This will not change the original date we retrieved only for display purpose. We'll show the rest of it later. Let's go to Performance. Here we can choose the sound on or off during the process. We can show the three, choose the refraction, one, two, three, on or off. Let me first uh, to remove the experimental pattern. We want to show or we'll make it clear. So the three spot you don't want to them appear here, so you can turn it off. You can show the basic diffraction vector on or off. You can put the central beam on, marked with the cross. You can turn the intensity to solid to make them uh, more revealing. You can choose only show the diffraction patterns without retrieved image by making the swap. We need to define the resolution first before retrieve diffraction intensities. Two methods are designed for unsaturated and saturated patterns, respectively. In the first case, 
diffraction intensity is simply sum of the pixel intensity in each circle. In the second case, Gaussian bell shape function is used to restore the peak shape. Diffraction intensity is then calculated from the Gaussian function to compensate the cutoff due to saturation. The background intensity is removed from the same curve in both cases. Diffraction intensity is retrieved for display and can also be saved to HKL intensity file. In our case, we have a kind of saturation. This is the first method retrieved intensity. Select second one. The second way, we'll use the second way retrieve intensity here. Let's go back to intensity adjustment. There are several choices here for you to deal in different situations. First one is, as it is, you retrieve intensity. The second one is for you to restore the lost diffraction if you use a beam stop here. And the rest of three deal with different symmetry. This one is two-fold symmetry, this one is four-fold symmetry, and this one is six-fold symmetry. If we believe our pattern has a true two-fold symmetry, we should use this one. And see here the diffraction pattern show you modified, restore the true two-fold symmetry. This is look like a six-fold. If you believe it should be a six-fold symmetry, you may choose this one. It will change your pattern truly six-fold. But our pattern is actually it's two-fold, so we choose this one. To retrieve the intensity, we use the two-dimensional index system that just uses two short vectors in this pattern. The true index should be converted use the relation here. You can define the one zero as a true index here. and 0, 1, a true index here. Then you do the transformation, click here. You get the HKL intensity file with a true index there. Then you can save here, HKL intensity. Depend on you choose either original retrieve the date or precise the date save here the current intensity we get the, the intensity distribution the same time we get the, the basic uh, diffraction vectors We have the scale bar label as a 5, 1 over nanometer. It measured 70.0 pixels. The 
basic vector 1 pixel 24.8 vector 2 is 24.5 and this is converted to 1 over nanometers see these two factors are slightly different and the angle between them is 58.79 it's not uh, 60 degree that's why we said it's pseudo hexagonal but it's not really six fold symmetry the retrieved diffraction intensity can be used to replace the Fourier in intensity of a high resolution image those get a enhanced high resolution image this software will add to London software suite soon the third application is line profile for both periodic or non-periodic lattice this is for a quick measure the reciprocal spacing which can be used in another software for unicell determination to measure the linear profile we selected quantify one dimensional profile we select one line of the diffraction pattern start point here end point here and you can see from this line start point end point 2 the profile is like this we can show the intensity or a spacing here we show the steps and then we can adjust step and 1 over 10 or 0.1 steps here to make all the vertical line fit to the peak positions we'll try this this is perfect fitting now so all lines are fitting to the lines and we can read this one is 24.0 I mean along this line the pixel between the diffraction bus is 24 If this is non periodic, we can also measure the profile. We can show the profile in different colors. If you hold the mouse left button, then you can move the profile to the center. And you drag down you can adjust the whole overall height of the peaks thank you for watching please check our other videos about london software suite for electron diffraction simulation and crystallographic analysis